stop YouTube, it's your boy Double A9 Skills and welcome back to the Juventus career mode here on my more A9 Skills channel. If you don't know, this is my second channel. If you're not subscribed around here, you need to hit that big boy subscription button. Make sure to turn your bell on so you never miss a career mode and we have a discussion that we have to talk about here today, bros. Oh man, we got something we got to talk about, yo. So, um, Manchester United, if you missed it, they played... In the capital one, in the capital, no one gives a cup. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's not the name of the cup no more, but it's like the English cup or something like that. And Manchester United fell um, and, 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 and I believe got eliminated from the cup, right? Or they lost or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that there was an article that came out that says that the boy Paul Pugba put in his transfer request. Says he wants to leave the club. Says he's not happy with Mourinho. Supposedly there was a fight between him and Mourinho. And uh, things are getting pretty hectic over there in United. All right? Um, I, 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 we have to save him. We have to save him. United fans, I love you guys. I understand that how much you guys love Paul Pugba. I know Paul Pugba is one of your best players and one of the guys that's bringing you light to that club that's going through a hard time right now. Um, but we got to steal him. We have to. I wanted Hazard here. Matter of fact, one of the top comments on the video today was skills. Uh, now I see you have 200 million um, bringing Messi. And, and I do think that's a pretty damn good, um, you know, a pretty damn good thing to do. Uh, matter of fact, we'll just, we'll talk to Messi just to see where their heads are at, to see how much money they want. Um, but I want to save Paul Pogba. He put in his request, and I just think that Juventus is the right club for him. I think Juventus is a place that he, 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 he his career really thrived here. It was a place where he was a beast. They used him the way he was supposed to be used, and that's what I want to do with him. I want to bring him back to the club and make him the player he once was. If you have been enjoying this series, I need you to smash that big old thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to break that thumbs up button. Can we get this to 4,000 likes? That would be unbelievable. And with that being said, Let's go ahead and uh, sit down with my boy Messi. They value him at 128. Let's see what we could do. All right, baby, I'm going to offer 170 million. I'm going to offer 170 and see where Barcelona's head's at for the 31 year old center forward. They want 237. I have enough money for him. I legitimately have enough money to bring in the, the boy Messi. We have enough to bring in the Messiah. The Messiah could play side by side with Cristiano, big boy Ronaldo. They want two, three, seven, 237 million. Let's see if they would take 217. Ladies and gentlemen, Barcelona accepts Lionel Messi to leave Barca and join the Italian side Juventus beside Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to let them negotiate that and see where it's at. Obviously, his wages are super high. And in the, in the meantime and in between time, I want to sit down with Mourinho and Paul Pogba and make sure that we take him away from Manchester and bring him back to Italy and bring him back to being a happy footballer. Because right now, he seems like he's going through a pretty hard time. I am going to offer 140... Nope. I am going to offer 130 million with a huge sell-on clause, and I just want to see where their head is. They come back and they say 157. I'm going to come back and say, Mourinho, I'm down, but drop them to 137. Let's get this party started right now, man. 155, they say. I'm going at 145. 155, that's their last price. What's up with the 150 so you can leave me with 100 mil? How about it? We're going to take some time to think about it. That's good, though. Maybe they come back. If they come back and they're stuck at 155, then I'll accept 155. Messi agrees. No. Barca agrees. We're looking good. So let's say we do get Paul Pogba. Um, there's a few things that I want to do. Like, if we get Paul Pogba, then we can go ahead and head over to PSV and pick up the young Mexican man, Lozano, a.k.a. Chucky. Or we can even head to the brand new league that's in FIFA 19 for the first time, man. We can head over to the Chinese league. And uh, there's a few guys that I missed that weren't in FIFA for a long time, and now they're back. And the guys I'm talking about are players like Taliska. Players like the Incredible Hawk, um, so I'm 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 pretty excited to 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 dabble in the Brazilian league. All right, they got Renatus over there as well. Um, let's see if we see anybody else. The Incredible Hawk, y'all remember this guy too? He used to play for Lazio. Um, Fernandinho is over there, a left mid at 32 years 32 years old. There is a lot of talent. Pato, 
Let's bring back Patu, man. Let's bring back Patu, yo. Let's bring back Patu was an AC Milan guy, wasn't he? Let's let's bring his career back. Let's bring him back to Europe. Paulinho, Oscar, my man Taliska was uh, that's a Benfica player, man. I believe he's still belongs to Benfica. He's on loan. Um, so a lot of talent, but Batu, okay, I was gonna let Manzukic leave. Wait, we let Manzukic leave. So what I'm gonna do is since we needed a backup striker, why not offer a cheeky like 15 million and see if we could bring Batu back to European football? I love Alexandro Patu. He's somebody that I used to buy all the time back in the FIFAs before, like I did him for YouTube and stuff. Um, I just absolutely love this guy, man. He's an absolute beast of a player. I'm going to offer 15 million off the jump, and I'll even give them a chill little sell-on clause. So maybe that gets them to accept. They want 20 million. It's kind of a little bit, exp it's not expensive for a 28 year old. So I'm going to say 27, I'm going to say 17 million. They're pretty set on 20 million, bros. Um, let's do seven, let's do 17 and a really big sell on clause and see if they bite on this because i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind patu yes yes we'll accept that yo we could bring in the brazilian play for ac milan but we're gonna bring him to juventus this is this is me this is this one's on me bros this if, if you guys don't like this move it's on me i get it that's on me i apologize i want him i thought it would be a cool move to bring patu in um i want his wages to be pretty I wanted his wages to be pretty low. Oh, no. 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 I didn't mean to do that. Listen, bros. I'm going to jump into this game so we can go forward and see what happens with Patu, uh, with uh, uh, my man Pugba and Messi. In the comments down below, let me know if you're cool with that Patu move. I really want Alexander Patu here. It's something I definitely want to do. So let me know if you guys think it's a good move. What I would do is he would be a backup player. Um... He would be a backup player. Anthony Martial, Dybala, Douglas Costa, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ruben Neves is actually going to hit the bench for this one. Uh, I'm going to run the boy Kadira, Kadira Pjanic, Chiellini, Bonucci, Juan Cancelo, Alexandro, and the boy Donnarumma. And this is the first game of the Serie A. First game of the year. Very important to get off to a good start. But yo, Alexandro Pato as a backup. Paul Pogba beside Pjanic. We sell Kadira. And we, oh man, we could even sell Matuidi at that point. Get some money back. We bring in Patu. I know bringing in Messi sounds pretty cool, but we could go after Lozano, the incredible Hawk. We could still go after Hazard with that much money. I feel like the right move right now is probably to bring in Paul Pugba and then to bring in like Patu and other players instead of going after one big guy like Messi. I'm excited for this game. It's a big one, man. I'm very, very excited for this game. I think it's going to be a very hard game. The first game of the City of Oz is always a tough one. So I think it's going to be really hard, man. It's one of those trap games where you're, you're supposed to win, but it could go really bad. First chance of the game is going to come off of a free kick from my opponents. It gets hit, and Donnarumma is going to grab that one pretty easily. A deal with that one with Alexandro. Donnarumma's chilling with it. He puts it up to Jerome Cancelo, and Jerome finds the, the, the German Kadira. Kadira sends it back to uh, Douglas Costa, to Cristiano, and he loses out easily. But Jerome Cancelo with a good touch there, but somehow they stay with it. Big chance here for my opponents. A beautiful, well-worked through pass to Chiellini. The Italian machine, the Italian stallion. Got to deal with it. And somehow we give away a corner. They almost got a corner off of it. Or they got a corner. They almost got a goal off of that. That ball's whipped in the header. And Donnarumma's all over it. And Kadira, a good pass to my man Cristiano. Put into Dybala and back to Cristiano. Cristiano with a scoop turn. Cristiano with the shot. And a beautiful save from the keeper, Cristiano Ronaldo. Going for the beautiful. He goes for the bicycle kick, and that one is put over. Unlucky from CR7. Pjanic, a good ball to Cristiano. Cristiano, Cristiano. Cuts inside, Cristiano! Ronaldo with a good attempt. Win that ball nicely. Here it is, Dybala. Christi I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo with a beautiful fake shot. Cristiano! Wow, how did that? How, bros? How did I mess that up? Honestly, I thought that was a goal off the post. It's so unlucky. I have Anthony Martial, but I know that pass will not make it to him. Now it will. You got to be careful with the passing in this game. Back to Pjanic, all the way up to Cristiano. Cristiano finds Douglas. Douglas got a good left foot. I was attempting it, but up to Douglas Costa. I wait for João Cancelo to make the run. It's a good run from João Cancelo. I might go all the way to the back post to where Anthony Martial is. That one gets cleared. Douglas, back to Pjanic. 
Scoop turn, Pjanic, finesse shot, Pjanic, right to the keeper. Unlucky. It's been one of those games where we dominated possession. We've had decent amount of shots, but still unable to put this game into a place where I could say, yo, we're going to get three points. Um... I look at this team on the bench. I don't really see anybody that's going to be like, oh, man, he's my super sub. This is my go-to. This guy's going to change games every single time. I don't see that here. I really don't see that for us. Pulling Kadira from Renato Sanchez, see if we can get a little bit more advent uh, offensive. Yeah. Bonucci has to get down there. He doesn't. Juan Cancelo, the Portuguese man, trying to get out there. Beautifully put in, but Bonucci's all over it. Douglas Costa to Cristiano, who dropped it into Dybala, who looks up and finds the Frenchman, Anthony Martial. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Nice move from Anthony. Anthony's still with him. I'm going to slow it down for a second. I try to swing into Dybala. It's going to get intercepted. It does. Pjanic fighting for it. Loses it. We don't do nothing with it. Doing everything and anything to break this team down. Here's Renato. Sanchez off the bench. Renato finds room and lets it go. What a save. A beautiful one-handed save from the keeper. Smacking it away. And this feels like a Serie A game. A team very defensive, very closed off, slow pace, but making sure they do not let us in. Renato Sanchez pulling a Renato Sanchez type move, very young, making a bad pass. Nowhere to really go with this. Jawong trying to find room. There's nowhere to put it. Jawong still with it, all the way up towards Douglas, who dropped it into Pjanic, who goes back into Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots. I wanted Douglas Costa. Opportunity for him to counterattack us again. Chiellini, they are playing full out counter attack at this point. Here's Cristiano. Dybala has room. I give it to him. Dybala, I see you, Anthony Martial. I feed him. Anthony Martial whipped into the back post. And oh my gosh. Anthony Martial with the ball. This is it, bros. This is it. Last two minutes of the game. I drop it into Juan Cancelo. Here's Juan, Juan, Juan. Put up to Bonucci. Bonucci. Try to put it in to my man Dybala. It gets intercepted and we draw the first game. We tie. We tie the first game away from home. Juventus falls nil-nil. No goal with Cristiano Ronaldo on the field. Um, it just there's no, there's not even no highlights. We get a skill move from Anthony Martial, who honestly had a very poor performance. Anthony, Anthony Martial, I can't, I can't, I can't even say anything about him. I mean, he was he was awful. His uh, rating was a 6.3, probably the lowest in the field, right? Yep, by far the lowest in the field. He kept losing the ball, couldn't connect the pass. Um, very tough, man. We out possession, we out shot. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate in the City Eye, ah, isn't it? Welcome to Ultimate Difficulty, baby. We drop points in a very important game. We lose, we lose game one. We tie game one, but it feels like a loss. <laughs>
right now like this is real but i i need i need to know that you guys i wanted this episode to be long i wanted this episode to be if i sim forward so i could play another game this deal goes away and if you guys wanted this deal you're gonna be mad at me if i accept this deal so i can go play the next game and you guys didn't want it you guys are gonna be mad at me i don't know what to do i legitimately don't know what to do right now i i legit do not know what to do messi has accepted barca has accepted the deal is done all i have to do is accept it and it's over and i'm afraid to accept it I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm afraid to accept it. I'm afraid to accept it because I don't want to ruin the Juventus career before it even really gets started. I mean, we're episode 6. I got to stop here. I got to let y'all make the decision. Smash a big old thumbs up, man, if you enjoyed this episode in the comments down below. Yes or no to Messi? Yes or no to Messi. If we bring in Messi, things will still happen, right? We'll still sell Kadira so we can get somebody else and Cordrado so we can buy somebody else. But do you really want to see Messi, Ronaldo and Dybala on the same team? I say yes. I say let's let's have fun, man. Let's do it. Let's let's go ball. Let's go let's go balls out. Let's go balls to the wall. Let's go let's get them all. Let's let's do an all star team as the first career mode on this channel. Let's just go all out. We've never done Messi ever now. Let's let's do it. Let's go all out. That's what I say, right? Let's have fun and go all out. Um, then the next career mode, you know, the next team, whatever, whatever. We won't do that again. But I say let's do it, right? That's me. But I don't know if that's what YouTube wants to see. So with that being said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Make sure to smash that big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry there's not two games in here. I don't know what to do, bros. I don't, don't fault me for this one. Spend your boy skills. I love your face. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you back here tomorrow. Same place, same time to find out if Messi is joining or if we're just going a separate, 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 separate way. Wow. For you.